Deer River residents are recovering after strong storms passed through on Tuesday night. And despite the damage caused, this community is doing its best to rally. Jackson Bruner has the latest tonight. In mere moments, falling trees completely totaled a man's car. I'll have to rebuild the garage for sure. I'll have to also go searching for a car, which is important for a priest. The priest needs a car. The storm hit Deer River right after 6 p.m. on Tuesday. I saw some strong winds uh, blowing some of my outside furniture around. Tearing down power lines, littering yards with debris, and leaving the entire town without electricity. At our 9 o'clock briefing, we had roughly 600 members uh, without power on the Minnesota power um, area. Uh, through Lake Country Power, uh, we don't know for sure on how many residences. Straight line winds caused most of the damage. We have actually been out of power since 3 o'clock yesterday afternoon, about an hour before the storms even hit. We got lucky. I, I think we didn't, didn't sustain any property damage. Our house got very lucky. A tree hit the roof, but I cut it down already this morning. And there was no roof damage on it. So The Shinsing family and others are taking advantage of assistance the Red Cross is providing locals. We have water available for distribution. Uh, people will co can come and uh, pick up water as well as ice. And then there's a hot meal provided inside. If they need a place to shower, uh, we have those services. Those services are also being provided over in Ball Club at the uh, community center over there. Clearing the area will be a total team effort. Wow. One they hope to finish soon as Deer River hopes its annual wild rice festival starting on Friday in Deer River. Jackson Bruner, Lakeland News. Officials do not yet have a timeline for when power will be back on. People who need help in the area are asked to call 211. That's two, not a nine. 211 for assistance. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.